Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim with SparkFun Electronics. We're here to talk to you today about RFID. So RFID is radio frequency identification. All of these six items in front of me today all have 12 digit identification numbers that will tell each of them separate from each other. This is done easily through the ID series of RFID tag readers that we carry. Also, we have the RFID USB card to make it easy to interface to your computer through USB. So we were going to take you through one by one, show you the differences between each other, and also um, we're going to range test these ID 20, 12, and 2s today so that you can see kind of real world how they act and uh, what they'll do for you. So um, let's show you guys how easy this is to do. So we'll start with the ID 20. Um, this is kind of the the biggest and baddest of the three. Um, it just plugs right into the headers on the USB RFID. As you can see, it's very simple to use. So the RFID transmits a 12-digit identification number over the TX line. This can be read from any terminal program or the Arduino serial monitor. And if you're using a microcontroller, you can tap into the TX line that we've broken out on the board. So we'll start our sketch over in processing. This is going to show us what we're actually scanning. We're going to use the RFID USB board and this ID20 to start. Um, later on we'll do some range testing as well. So we're just going to plug in the ID20 right into our RFID USB board. Um, we have it on this grid so you guys can kind of see a real world um, display of distance. So we'll take this card number one and we'll just put it right in front of the card reader and as you can see it pops up on our screen as card number one. Now we can take our button which is the same technology just in a different format and pops up as the button. Now we've created these images clearly for this application but you can do anything you want with this if you need to open a door or start your car with a RFID tag as your car key. That's a great project you could do with RFID. Um, but each tag outputs a 12 character identification number. So let's do some range testing. Let's uh, start with the ID2. This is the smallest of the ID series that we carry. Um, this unit actually requires an external antenna that you're going to build yourself. The data sheet discusses how to actually build that and hone it in for its specific needs. We'll show you that without an exter external antenna, this guy doesn't work at all. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. If you don't know how to make an antenna, you're going to want to go to the ID12. With the ID12, The data sheet is saying that it's got a range of about 3.9 inches. So we'll grab our card. Let's see how it actually does. This is about 4 inches. So we're going to start pushing up. So we're actually looking at about 2 inches on the ID12. A little less than what they dis discuss in the data sheet, but still, it's a respectable distance. Let's see how we do with the button. So the button, we're looking at just about an inch. And now for the glass tab. I'd say it's about the same as the button, but still less than the tag. So we'll check out our ID20. The data sheet says 7 inches, so we'll start at 7. Judging by the 12, we know that it's going to actually be shorter than that, so we're actually looking at 3 inches, so a solid inch more than the ID12, but definitely not 7 inches. So let's check out the ID20 with the button. I'm looking at an inch and a half. So the glass capsule now with the ID20. I'm looking at just about two inches, maybe an inch and a half. So one other thing with RFID that we wanted to show you is that if you take two ID cards and you put them together, you have some issues. 
Well, sort of. It actually read card number one instead of card number two, even though card two was in front. So it's not going to read them both, and sometimes it can actually jam up the system and not be able to read anything. Cool guys, well this is RFID. I hope you enjoyed it and I uh, hope you can figure out how to use it in your next project. Take it easy. The data sheet lists the maximum possible range based on optimal testing conditions and environments. Our test shows a more real world example of the RFID reader's abilities. Your final range may vary depending on your environment.